Hello everyone, my name is Rashida Kante. Welcome once again to ECTVN. We have a very special someone, someone who God has taken up from the Marikli and then turned to somebody that is becoming an entrepreneur, a person that I can call a brother, or someone who believes that God is the beginning and the end of all things. Our very own brother from the motherland, Mr. Mohamed Kamara, is with us today in the studio. Welcome, my brother. Thank you. Thank How you. are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. And yourself? I'm good. Thank you. Good to be here today. <laughs> We're definitely going through the series of your book, right. Diamond in the Rough, The Reason, reason Why, why You Survive. Yes, yes. This book kept me on my toes for quite some hours. And I must confess, it took me about six hours to read it. Which is, and I think I would have done faster if I didn't use the bathroom or eat. But um, <laughs> let's focus more on the aspect of the book. You know, you went through the trials, the tribulations, and the hurdles of life and you travel and you made it through you yeah. know it's like a pregnant woman being pregnant for nine months right, yeah. and after nine months they give birth to that child and they look at that child the only thing they can think of is the beauty or the handsomeness of that child yep, yep. and that's what i consider your story to be after what two three years of the war and finally you came out strong yes. you're sitting here today to tell your story yes. you know yes. my yes. question to you is this why did you consider because i know when you were getting ready to come to america something you never thought about no and this is all the all. work of god absolutely you had no connection no no relative no nothing nothing but you consider america the dreamland mm -hmm. why is america the dreamland <laughs> <laughs> why is america the dreamland dream why you know when i was in sierra leone as a child you know uh, i always think of america as the dreamland where dream come true right you know so when i was writing the book i always referred to america as a dreamland this is where my life will change for the better you know god has given me another opportunity to live life another chance to live and then america is the land where this opportunity is going to take place right and that's why i always refer america as a dreamland is where because when i was in sierra leone education was definitely limited right limited for many of us growing up in, in, in Sierra Leone. So for me to travel to this country, you know, which I refer to as a dreamland, is definitely a dream come true. Mm. Um, for me, I take education very seriously because that's the only way for us to be successful. So America as a dreamland has definitely impacted my life. And that's why I always refer to America as a dreamland. You know, um, to make my dream come true, to be successful and go to school and to help others okay. that need the support. America is a dreamland for many of us and um, definitely is the land of opportunity, so we call it home of the free, right? Right. Um, I want you to take me through, you know, the process of coming to America, being in America. You know, many of us, we come to America, we think it's all bright and roses mm -hmm. when it's really not <laughs> and and I, true, I, I read know? the part where you you know you got bullied a little bit here yeah. and there uh -huh. you're know, just to uh -huh. fit in in the society absolutely and you were just gazing at people you wanted a friend you wanted somebody to talk to to help you to mm -hmm. show you you know and you talk about your relative your favorite cousin Mabinti yes, who step yes. in, in the play and work great things for you who yes. you're always always thankful for yep. and then I just want to ask you a question now you met you know i remember you talk about a story with the yankees mm -hmm, you know that mm -hmm. caught me and i want us to go depth into that okay the yankees right how how did it all came about because i know it has to be with the story you know <laughs> how i survived but what was it's that scene when when that camera came in front of your face you were like wow yeah i was am i really dreaming <laughs> or like, am i alive it, absolutely what was that about well you know, i take how, you back when i was in high school uh it was my last year as a senior, you know, at Bronx Leadership Academy High School. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the opportunity came across. And then when the opportunity presented itself, I actually didn't think of it as an opportunity because I was writing my college essay, mm -hmm. you know, for us, you know, that was the time for us to write an essay for college. And then, you know, it was two pages, you know, a summary of what I've been through as a child mm -hmm. during the war in Sierra Leone. So one of my counselors, Miss Lawrence, right. you know, who was always nice to me, she said, you know, give me a copy of your essay. I said, okay. So 
So I gave it to her and then she kept a copy. And then the Yankees opportunity came across, you know, at the school. And she submit that essay to the Yankees. Right away, that very first time she submitted the essay, the Yankees came to the school the next day. Wow. Because they wanted to know more about the story. Wow. So that's what happened and that's what the whole Yankee um, situation came out about. So they came to the school, they interviewed me, my, you know, about 45 minutes, myself, and they you know just to ask me more questions about Sierra Leone, about myself, mm -hmm. you know, my country, what I've been through. You know, they were so interested about, you know, about the, myself and my country. Okay. So, and um, that's, so it was actually, the scholarship was for five people mm -hmm. out of 5,000 people. Wow. So, I was selected number two on the scholarship. Wow. Yes. So, you know, it was something that we're always going to be grateful for because that's a scholarship that actually sent me to college for free. Wow. You no, know, so that was one of the opportunities and one of the, you know, something I'm always going to be grateful for to Ms. Lawrence and to my mentor, Mr. Joseph King, which is, who is still a passed away, may he so rest in peace. Mm -hmm. You know, play a huge, huge impact in my life and the entire King family. So, that, the Yankees actually supporting me big time and I'm always, always grateful to them for that. Wow, that's very great. Um, I also want to ask you a question in regards to, now you went to college and by the way, definitely, he's definitely, definitely student loan free. <laughs> so he went to college for free. Um, that's, you know, definitely a success story to be, you know, for everyone to hear. I know you have a family and we're very, very, you know, happy. And I, for one, I want to say I'm very happy for you where you're coming from and where you're going. Thank you. But, um, you know, success is defined in the layman's time, you know, uh, an achievement of one's purpose, right. you know, mm -hmm. that's what, you know, the regular man would, you know, define success, right. you know, but you, I noticed in your book, you're a believer. We talked about, you know, believing in God so many times. So I want to believe that your success is pretty much what God has destined you to become. And you have the purpose, the will and purpose of God was manifested in your life. And, and you manifested, you went through the ordeals and became a success out of the, of the trial. Right. So right. I want to ask you this question. Do you take your life now where you are as a success? Has it reached the peak of where God wants you to be, the will of God? Have you reached there yet? Or are you still in the process of making your <laughs> success story? Well, you know, that's, this is actually one of my favorite questions. Um, you know, you know, success is defined in so many ways. Right. Right? You know, some people can win a lot and become successful. Some people have to work twice to be successful. Mm -hmm. For me, my success you know, I define my success as I haven't reached my peak yet. You no, know, I felt like there is more to achieve. You know, this is I felt this is the beginning of my life. You know, God has given me so many opportunities, and I have not yet reached that peak yet mm. of success. You know, I have achieved so many things in my life but for me to be to me to say i'm successful at this very moment as, as of right now i would say yes and no You're not quite there. i would say yes and no because i still have so many lives to live so in this lifetime coming in there is so much that i can achieve that god has planned for me right and then I've seen success because I've worked and achieved it, you know. And so I feel like there's more for, for me to see. Wow. I've not reached my success yet. Wow. Um, then definitely, then I will conclude by saying that <laughs> God still have a lot more purpose for you. Yes. And yes. since you know that purpose already, so you're just gonna keep going forward. Yes. Absolutely. And that's definitely a good way for someone to think, you know, you can never settle because you think everything is okay where you are now, so let me settle. Right. And that's right. where many of our brothers and sisters, you know, sometimes, you know, go wrong. As soon as they get the pick of something that they have been waiting for for the longest, 
they backslide and they relax yes. and that's where satan will come in and just torment your whole being so definitely it's good to keep motivating yourself it's good to keep god in your presence at all time and we are definitely going to support you as a community as a family and of course as a country as a nation we know we believe i for one believe that you're going somewhere and uh, we want you to keep up the good work because this book is going to sell and i know there's many more <laughs> copies coming out oh, yes. so please <laughs> grab a copy soon and we have a first time book launch ever for the book itself is going to be held in the bronx so please come out and support your very own brother i'm inviting all my civil unions okay to come and support our brother Absolutely, yes, and of yes. course all the nigerians the ghanaians the, the togolese liberians wherever you support, are yes. come and support our very own brother and yes. in america he's not an american as well so he holds dual <laughs> citizenship so come and support your own brother as well in the community he's doing great things in the bronx all right he has a community center where he helped out the youth to become better to take them out of the street many of us know what the youth are facing day and night and uh, to have our very own to tell them the story and to go through with them the process is very good someone like this definitely needs to be supported at all times so my brother i thank you very much for being in the studio with us um this is an opportunity you can invite everyone again to yes, your definitely yes. you know your book lunch coming out soon which i'm very very can't wait to attend <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so much miss kante um for having me at the studio today you know I'll, you know you have always supported me from the beginning and i really appreciate you um thank you so much um guys you know this is just the beginning guys uh you know let's support each other man all right that's the only way we're gonna move forward in our in, you know in our country here or any other countries in africa you know so i invite all my Sidalonians, you know my liberians my guineans my nigerians you know, all my African people, come support the book. July 29th, my first book launching. All right, it's gonna be very big. You know, everybody's invited to come. All right, so I'll be there. You're gonna meet the author. I'll be signing some books as well. So, you know, um, just support. Let's support each other and let's help each other. All right, so I thank you once more for having me here today. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much for watching everyone. That's it for us today at ECTVN. We we'll welcome you another day, another time with a different session. But for now, so long. Thank you, Mr. Mohammed, for being with us. God thank bless you. you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. ECTVN, the station that inspires.